This is Chad with the iPhone blog and today I'm going to show you Quick Office HD for iPad. This is a, a pretty good uh, productivity suite. Uh, it's, it's got a nice layout. It works like the Mac OS X Finder as you can see. So I've got on my iPad it gives you some, some documents to play around with. Over here I can add a Google Docs, Dropbox, uh, Box.net, MobileMe, so on and so forth. You can see over here I added my uh, mobile me iDisk and you get a uh, really good folder structure. You can see all these documents here. You have an option to create a new folder. Pops it right up top. Very convenient. Um, if I want to take something, I can tap and hold it and move it to trash or email. Pretty nice. Pretty easy uh, way to do it. Uh, and you can see you can easily move and copy files that way too, which is really nice. And if you tap on it, it kind of gives you the information and you can rename. So, pretty nice. I'll mess with the documents on my iPad to, uh, to be safe. <laughs> um, so, I'll start off with a uh, Word document. And this Word document is basically how to use, you know, uh, QuickOffice. But what's nice is I can immediately pinch out, and you can see I can scroll through my document. Or, if I zoom back in, if I tap and hold on the right, I get a very Mac OS X-like uh, uh, view and wherever you let go is the document that you see. It's pretty nice. Um, other than that, uh, everything else isn't too exciting. It's pretty straightforward. You know, you can select your text. You have bold, italics, and underlines. Uh, up top here, uh, you can change your fonts, font size, change your paragraph styles, and change your colors. Not quite as many features as some of the competition, but again, enough to do some light uh, editing, which is what most of us really need. When I go back, we'll take a look at the spreadsheet. And spreadsheet's pretty nice. Uh, you know, you can pinch and zoom out of the spreadsheet as well, which is uh, very convenient. And what I really like are the selection handles around items. So then I can maybe make all that bold and italicized, and I can go over here and change the, the color to red. Uh, very quickly and easily. I can also insert columns to the left or right and delete rows, uh, put them above and below. Again, very, very easy to use. Down here I've got my sheets and I can tap and hold and move them around so I put sheet 3 in place of sheet 1. And one of the things you'll notice here uh, as I'm working, uh, you see things that, that, it, that it saves automatically. You saw that come up very briefly a moment ago, which is very convenient. I can even choose to undo or redo directly from here. And I don't want to save, but I could certainly save back to my mobile me iDisk, or I could save back to Google Documents. And of course, then here's a PDF. Renders pretty uh, pretty smoothly. Uh, you don't get the same uh, features that you get in like the Word document, but nonetheless, you can view them, and they look good. Uh, down here on the right, I can create a document, and you can see I can do a spreadsheet 2003-2007, document 2003-2007, or a text file. So the biggest downside, as you can probably see right off the bat, is it does not support PowerPoint. Boo. Um, if you don't use PowerPoint, it's not a big deal. If you do use PowerPoint, it's a very big deal. Uh, now you can still view PowerPoint files via the built-in viewer in iOS, but you can't do much with them, uh, which is really uh, kind of a shame. So if I want to email something, I can take a document, and I kind of showed you this earlier, but I just drag it on top of there, and it gives me the information. Very convenient. It does not allow you to select a different account, so it always sends from the default, so something to keep in mind when sending files and documents. And uh, that's, that's really it. There, there's not much else to it. Um, over on the top here, you can choose your local file cache, uh, file transfers on or off, uh, disable sleep, and enable a passcode lock. And of course, you can drag and drop your file documents in through iTunes, so they work pretty well. Uh, that's really just about it. So if you uh, check out the review, you can see a little bit more and see some more screenshots. But that's it. Again, this is Quick Office for the iPad.